In Airtable, it's easy enough to find the beginning of the month because it always starts with the first. But how do you find the end of the month? In Excel, there's a function called EO month that does this for you, but we don't have that in Airtable, so we are going to recreate it. We're going to do this in three steps and then we'll put them all together into one formula. Shout out to Camille Parks who worked out the absolute simplest way to write this formula, which is the way that I'm gonna show you here. The first thing we want to do is to find the first of the current month. So I've got a list of dates in the first column. I'm gonna create a new field and in this field, I want to find the first day of the month that that date is within. To do that, we can use the date time format function. So I'll call that up, write date time format and then specify just month and year. That way it will default to the first of that month. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to write a formula that adds one month to that date that we just created. So using the date add formula, we will take the first of the month and then add one month to that. Lastly, we wanna subtract one day from our new date because one day before the first of the month is the last of the previous month. Now we've got the date that we want. We just need to put it all in one formula. So in order to do that, we need to nest all three formulas together. So we'll write date add, then another date add, then the date time format. And then once we close off our date time format, then we add one month and we subtract one day. That's it.